Hi, I'm Kenneth Wajda. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado and welcome to another one of my photography talks. So today I want to talk about gear. Specifically, I've talked about this camera before, but I'm going out to shoot a portrait of a mother and a daughter next week and I thought, what camera am I going to bring? I'll probably bring the M3 with a 50 millimeter lens, but I'm also going to bring this. This is the F2 with a 105 2.5 lens. Now, in all the time that I worked at the newspaper, I always went from a, I had a 24, a 35, an 85, and a 180. And I still have that 180, and it's a great lens. It's a 180 f2.8 maximum aperture. But I never had the 105 2.5, and I'd always wanted one. And in my Olympus system, I have a, a 100 millimeter 2.8 and I thought, you know, that's kind of a, a good focal length. It's a little longer than that 85, but it's not as long as a 135. A lot of people talk bad about the 135. They don't like it and I've never had one. So, but I really wanted to get the 105 and this lens is considered legendary. And I picked it up at a camera show in Denver and it's one of those lenses that's so sharp that I'm really looking forward to shooting this portrait series. Now, I could use an F3, but I think I'm going to use the F2. I think that this is the camera that, this is an, a little bit of an older version of the 105. It's still beautiful rendition of it, and, and the rendering it gives is great. But I just think this is the camera that's, that's you know, it's almost like every assignment, you kind of are, are drawn to what do I want to use for this? You know, when I was shooting uh, a couple of weeks ago at a, 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 an artist, I was shooting with an M9 and a, and a Rolleiflex. And I'll probably use at this assignment this and the Rolleiflex because I do want to shoot some medium format, but it's, it's almost like what suits the location that you're going to go work in and what do you feel like as an artist? What tool do you feel like picking up? What paintbrush do you want to paint with? So I think that's this one, but the 105 2.5, if you get a chance, right now they have a, uh, there's all this news in the world about Nikon coming out with this 105 1.4, and it's a $2,200 lens. That sounds great, but this lens I got for $100, and it's legendary for sharpness. 2.5 is perfect for portraits. The 1.4 is probably too thin for two people because I bet you can't get both their eyes in focus unless they are on absolutely the same plane. And I think this is a bargain. So if you have a chance to pick up a 105.25, do it. Like I said, in all my photography career back at the newspaper, I never had one. I always went from an 85 F2. There was an 85 1.4 that I never carried because another photographer had it and it was too big for my bag. And I thought, I don't want to carry that weight and that size. It wouldn't fit in the bag I had. But the 85 F2, I went right up to the 180. And this is the 105 that I'm really falling in love with for what it can do and the look. And, and I really like it a lot. So it's my recommendation for the F2, nice, solid, hand-built, pro camera, completely pro camera. If you find one of those, it shouldn't be too hard to find one and to find one in decent shape too. And then if you find that 105, those 50s are great, those 35s are great, but for portraits, the 105 is a lens that can't be beat. All right, that's today's photography talk. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. I'll bring you some more. Thanks so much for watching and I'll check the comments for your comments below. Thanks.